Hello everyone, I'm Lacey Krauss and today we're going to talk about fatigue and how it works in Total War Warhammer 3. Fatigue, or vigor, is a mechanic that's not very well explained as it doesn't even show up on unit cards. The only explanation of the system in-game is telling you that a unit is tired or not. But what does it actually mean? Well, there's a hidden number on all units that describe how tired it is. It starts at zero, which is fresh or animated in the case of undead. They both have the same effect but uses different words for lore reasons. Most actions a unit performs increases their fatigue, and the higher their fatigue gets, the larger the negative impact has on their combat ability. In this table you can see how much fatigue increases every tick depending on the action the unit performs. So charging and fighting tires a unit out fairly quickly while climbing a siege ladder almost instantly exhausts a unit. Units can rest however to get fresher by standing still or walking instead of running by using this little button here. Fatigue affects most combat stats including speed, melee attack, melee defense, damage, armor, charge bonus and reloading. And the effect of fatigue ranges from not that bad to very impactful since early it's not that noticeable, but while at exhausted the unit's combat ability is significantly lowered. Some units have perfect vigor which means that they ignore this entirely and always fight at peak efficiency. Also keep in mind that during campaign, some stances affects your army's vigor. Raid stance starts your units as winded, while march stance starts your units as tired. And that's how fatigue and vigor works. And if you want to find out how losing melee attack and melee defense affects the combat ability of your units, check out my video here. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.